So here we are back in the workshop again. We're going to do a little bit more, this is more DIY than actual just getting a kit and putting it together. We're going to take one of these chips here, the CD40106, which is a, I think it's a hex Smith trigger they're called. Uh, but basically what you can do, you can wire it up so it gives you six oscillators. And the easiest way, if you, this is like a, a chip chip holder. Decide where to put it on your board and then what you have to do, so if I just mark up there and then what I normally do is just get a Stanley knife and just make sure, just do a nice big cut down there and then it's so this side and this side there's no continuity so they're not, so they, they, they end up as like two separate tracks. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to solder the little chip holder in. So here we go, here's our little piece of board. Solder that in, obviously we cut the tracks in between there so this side and this side are separate. That top pin there was the plus, so that's where your 9 volt plus goes in. The one on the bottom here is the minus, or the ground. First os yeah, the first oscillator I've used is between pins 1 and 2. You take a black lead from pin 1 to the centre of that potentiometer there, and that's uh, I think it's a 100k potentiometer I've used. From one side of the potentiometer you've got the red lead and that goes to pin 2 on the chip. And then I've got a, I think I used a 10 microfarad. And that again goes from pin 1 on the positive side. You can see there's a stripe down here, that's the negative side. And the negative side of the capacitor goes to the ground rail, or pin 7 on the chip. And that's all you need to do to make an oscillator. And we can make 6 oscillators in this chip using the same idea. What we can do is vary the uh, value of the capacitors to get different ranges of oscillation. I'll pad it up and I'll just turn up my little lamp and then I'll turn the potentiometer and you'll see what happens. So there you have it. How awesome is that? And what we'll do is we'll follow the same guidelines like I said because there's the six of these triggers and the, the first one is what we've done here is on pin one and two. The second one is on pin three and four. Third one is on pin five and six. Pin seven is ground or negative. And at the top here pin 14 is your power supply or your plus plus rail. 12 and 13 are another trigger or oscillator. 10 and 11 is another one. 8 and 9 is the last one. And we can use all those to make, we'll make a 6 oscillator drone. So we'll see you next time.